Hello everyone. This video introduces the upgraded version of MKS Monster 8, which is greatly improved on the basis of V1. The motherboard is equipped with a TV's power supply anti-reverse and spike protection chip. It can effectively prevent the short circuit caused by the reverse connection of the positive and negative poles of the power supply to burn the motherboard. Next, we simulate the situation where the positive and negative poles of the power supply are reversed. The motherboard will not work if the positive and negative poles of the power supply are reversed. So when you connect the motherboard to the power supply, the motherboard does not work. First check whether the power supply wiring is reversed. If it is found that the wiring is reversed, just connect the power supply to the motherboard correctly and it will work normally. We also designed a protection circuit for the back electromotive force generated by the stepper motor, which greatly reduces the damage to the motor driver. Taking Voron's machine as an example, when the print head is pulled hard, the motor will generate a back EMF. Due to the design of the motherboard with back EMF protection, the motherboard can still work normally after power on. We also designed a DC5V3 a power output for the Raspberry Pi. If the power supply of the Raspberry Pi is unstable and the voltage and current are too low, the currently throttled error will easily appear. The Monster 8 V2 Raspberry Pi power supply interface can provide 5.1V3 a power supply to ensure that the Raspberry Pi will not have this error. The voltage we measured with a multimeter is 5.09V. The output current measured with a multimeter is 2.7A. The motherboard's MOS drive circuit and temperature measurement circuit are all protected by Schottky diodes to reduce the damage of external spikes to I.O. This is the anti-static test of the motherboard. We applied 4 kV static electricity to the heating head interface and the temperature measuring interface respectively on the motherboard. As you can see in the video, the motherboard still works with 4 kV of static electricity applied to the heater head interface. Now we apply 4 kV of static electricity at the temperature measurement interface.
thermal can measure temperature normally. The PL08N leveling sensor signal interface is protected by Schottky diodes with a withstand voltage of 40V to ensure that the signal pin of the chip will not be burned out due to the sensor. We apply 24V to the PL08 signal pin. Then test that the PL08N still works normally and the signal pin is not burned out. We have added a pluggable insurance on the motherboard which can protect the motherboard more effectively. We have added a MAX 31865 temperature measurement interface. Also added Robin Wi-Fi module slot. 